Senate Minority Leader, Godswill Lakpabio, has said any political platform he decides to contest for his second term ticket for Ikonikbin Senatorial District in 2019 will guarantee him victory. Akpabio made the statement at an endorsement rally in his honor and Governor Utam Emanuel by the people of the district on Monday, July 16. He said he had to play down on the issue of party because he believed any party under which he will contest the election would guarantee him victory. His words, don't worry about election, election is all about voting. Today. You notice that I did not shout too much about party because you have endorsed Akpabio as an unopposed candidate. And this unopposed candidate cuts across all the political parties. Whether you call it Cup Coalition of United Political Parties or whether it is the People's Democratic Party PDP, no matter the political party, we are saying let God's will be done, again. For diverse tendency, for those who want to divide us, let God Almighty not allow them. While justifying his desire to return to the Senate, Akpavio reeled out some of the 68 projects he has attracted to his senatorial district in the past three years to include boreholes, market stalls in all the 10 local government areas of the district, 274 students on scholarship who receive at least, and 100 comma a year, a major road linking the greater part of the senatorial district. On his part, Governor Emanuel, while thanking the people for his second term endorsement, said the exercise was a show of appreciation, and promised he will not take it for granted. Meanwhile, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Yakubu Dogaro, has canvassed for peaceful politicking among political office holders and their opponents ahead of 2019. According to him, political tolerance boils down to how elected leaders employ their institutional prerogatives. By this I mean how the coercive instruments of state are deployed. This is exemplified when leaders treat the opposition as friends, and not as enemies. So once these are lacking, you don't have a robust democracy, it is now for you and I to determine whether these are present in the context of democracy that we practice in Nigeria," Dogara said.